Welcome to the Bible with Briscoe 2024. I am your messenger of the Word of God, Shenandoah Briscoe, and today we will be covering Psalms 105 through 106 and 1 Corinthians 3. Father, I just ask for clarity of voice and articulation and a smooth reading of your Word so that it may be a blessing to you and for all those who have tuned in from all around the world. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And they all said, Amen. The Lord's wonderful works in behalf of Israel. Psalm 105 Give thanks to the Lord, call upon his name. Make his deeds known among the peoples. Sing to him, sing praises to him. Tell of all his wonders. Boast in his holy name, and may the heart of those who seek the Lord be joyful. Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his face continually. Remember his wonders, which he has done. His marvels and the judgment spoken by his mouth. You, descendants of Abraham, his servants. You, sons of Jacob, his chosen ones. He is the Lord our God. His judgments are in all the earth. He has remembered his covenant forever, and the word which he commanded to a thousand generations, the covenant which he made with Abraham, and his oath to Isaac. Then he confirmed to Jacob as a statute to Israel as an everlasting covenant, saying, To you I will give the land of Canaan as a portion of your inheritance. And when they were only a few people in number, very few, and strangers in it, and they wandered from nation to nation, from one kingdom to another people, and he allowed no one to oppress them. And he rebuked the kings and their, and their sakes, saying, Do not touch my appointed ones, and do not harm my prophets. And he called for a famine upon the land, and he broke the whole staff of bread. And he sent a man before them, Joseph, who was sold as a slave, and they forced his feet into shackles, and he was put in irons until the time his word came to pass. The word of the Lord refined him, and the king sent the, and released him, and the rulers of the people, and set him free. And he made him lord of his house, and ruler over all his possessions to imprison his high officials at will, and that he might teach his elders wisdom. Israel also came into Egypt, and so Jacob lived in the land of Ham, and he made his people very fruitful, and made them strong, then and their enemies stronger than their enemies. And he turned their hearts to hate his people, and to deal cunningly with his servants. He sent his servant Moses and Aaron, whom had, he had chosen, and they performed his wondrous acts among them, and miracles in the land of Ham. He sent darkness and made it dark, and they did not rebel against his words. He turned their waters into blood and caused their fish to die. Their land swarmed with frogs, even in the chambers of their kings. He spoke, and a swarm of flies and gnats invaded all the territories. He gave them hail from rain and flaming fire in their land. He also struck their vineyards and their fig trees, and smashed the trees of their territory. He spoke, and locusts came, 
and creeping locusts beyond number, and they ate all the vegetation in the land, and ate the fruit of the ground. And he also fatally struck all the firstborn in the land, the first fruits of their vigor. And then he brought the Israelites out with silver and gold, and among his tribes there was not one who stumbled. Egypt was glad when they departed, for the dread of them had fallen upon the Egyptians. He spread out a cloud and covering and a fire to illuminate by night. And they asked, and he brought quail and satisfied them with the bread of heaven. He opened the rock and water flowed out. It then rained in the dry places like a river, for he remembered his holy word with his servant Abraham. And he led out his people with joy. He chose his chosen ones with a joyful shout. He also gave them the land of nations, so that they might take possession of the fruit of the people's labor, and they might keep his statutes and comply with his laws. Praise the Lord. Israel's Rebellion and the Lord's Help Psalm 106 Praise to the Lord, O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, and for His mercy is everlasting. Who can speak for the mighty deeds of the Lord? Who can proclaim all His praises? How blessed are those who maintain justice, How pra who practices righteousness at all times. Remember me, Lord, in your for favor towards your people. Visit me with your salvation, so that I may see the prosperity of your chosen ones, and that I may rejoice in the joy of your nations, that I may boast with your inheritance. We have sinned like our fathers. We have gone astray. We have behaved wickedly. Our fathers in Egypt did not understand your wonders, and they did not remember your abundant kindness, but rebelled by the sea, at the Red Sea, Nevertheless, he saved them from the, for the sake of his name, and so that he might make his power known. And so he rebuked the Red Sea, and it dried up. And he led them through the mighty waters as though the wilderness. And so he saved them from the hand of one who hated them and redeemed them from the hand of their enemies. The waters covered their adversaries, and not one of them was left. And then they believed his words, and they sang his praise. They quickly forgot his words, and they did not wait for his plan, but became lustfully greedy in the wilderness. And they put God to the test in the desert. And so he gave them their request, but sent a wasting disease among them. And when they became envious of Moses and the camp, and of Aaron, the Holy One of the Lord, the earth opened and swallowed them up, and swallowed death and death, and, and it engulfed the company of Abram and a fire blazed up in their com company, and the flames consumed the wicked. They made a calf of Hareb, and worshipped a cast metal image, 
and so they exchanged their glory for the image of an ox that eats grass. And they forgot God, their Savior, who had done great things in Egypt, wonders in the land of Ham, and awesome things by the Red Sea. And therefore he said that he would destroy them. If Moses had chosen one, had not stood in the gap before him to turn away his wrath from destroying them. And then they rejected the pleasant land, and they did not believe his words, but rumbled in their tents. And they did not listen to the voice of the Lord. And therefore he swore to them that he would have them fall in the wilderness, and that he would bring down their descendants among the nations and scatter them in the land. They also followed Baal, Peor, and ate sacrifices offered to the dead. And so they provoked him to anger with their deeds. And a plague broke out among them. Then Phineas stood up and intervened. And so the plague was brought to a halt. And it was credited to as him as righteousness to all generations forever. They also provoked him to wrath at the waters of Meribah. And so that it went badly for Moses on their account. Because they were rebellious against his spirit. And he spoke rashly with his lips. They did not destroy the peoples as the Lord had commanded them, but they got involved with the nations and learned their practices, and they served their idols, which became a snare to them. They even sacrificed their sons and their daughters to the demons and shed innocent blood. The blood of their sons and their daughters whom they sacrificed to the idols of Canaan, and the land was defiled with the blood. And so they became unclean in their practices and were unfaithful in their deeds. And therefore the anger of the Lord was kindled against his people, and he loathed his inheritance. And so he handed them over to the nations, and those who hated them ruled over them. Their enemies also oppressed them, and they were subdued under their power. And many times he would rescue them, and they, however, were rebellious in their plan. And they sank down into their guilt. And nevertheless, he looked at their distress, and when he heard their cry, and he remembered his covenant for their sake, and he relented according to the greatness of his mercy. He also made them objects of compassion in the presence of all their captors. Save us, O Lord God, and gather us up from the nations to give thanks to your holy name and glory to your praises. And blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, from everlasting to everlasting. And all the people shall say, Amen. Praise the Lord. And that was Psalms 105 through 106. Now we will be turning to 1 Corinthians 3. Foundation for Living, 1 Corinthians 3. 
And I, brothers and sisters, cannot speak to you as spiritual people, but only as fleshly, as to infants in Christ. I gave you milk to drink, not solid food, for you were not yet able to consume it. But even now you are not yet able, for you are still fleshly. For since there is jealousy and strife among you, and are you not fleshly? And are you not walking like ordinary people? For when one person says, I am with Paul, and another, I am with Apollos, are you not ordinary people? When then is Apollos? And what then is Apollos, and what then is Paul? Servants through whom you believe, even as the Lord gave opportunity to each one. I planted Apollos and watered, but God was causing the growth. So then neither one who plants nor the one who waters is anything but God who causes the growth. Now, the one who plants and the one who waters are one, but each will receive his own reward according to his own labor. For when are, are we, are God's fellow workers, and you are God's field, God's building? According to the grace of God, which was given to me like a wise master builder, I laid a foundation, and another is built on it. But each person must be careful how he builds on it. For no one can lay a foundation other than the one which is laid, which is Jesus Christ. Now, at any if anyone builds on the foundation with gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, or straw, each one's work will become evident, for the day will show it, because it is to be revealed with fire, and the fire itself will test the quality of each one's work. If anyone's work, which has been built, on it remains he will receive a reward if anyone's work is burned up he will suffer loss but he himself will be saved yet only so as through fire do you not know that you are a temple of God and that the Spirit of God dwells in you. If anyone destroys the temple of God, God will destroy that person, for the temple of God is holy, and there is but, and that is what you are. Take care that no one deceives himself, and if anyone among you thinks that he is wise in this age, he must become foolish, so that he may become wise. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness in the sight of God, for it is written, He is the one who catches the wise by their craftiness. And again, the Lord knows the thoughts of the wise, and that they are useless. So then, no one is to be boasting in people, for all things belong to you, whether Paul or Apollos, or Cephas, or the world, or life or death, or things present or things to come. All things belong to you, and you belong to Christ, and Christ belongs to God. And that was First Corinthians 3, which concludes the Bible with Briscoe 2024 for today. Tomorrow we will be covering Psalms 107 through 109, 
in First Corinthians 4. Father, I just thank you for your word. Because if it were not for your word, I would not be able to be your messenger of the word. And so I give you all the praise and all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And they all said, amen. I'd like to thank you folks for tuning in to the Bible with Briscoe 2024 for today. I, Shenandoah Briscoe, have enjoyed being your messenger of the Word of God. And as always, you know, God loves you, and so do I. So come back and see us again tomorrow, because, well, God willing, we'll be here. And we hope that you are, too. Please like and share.